value trades, forex CFDs and commodities. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Michael Breinholst. I'm the CEO of TradeWorks. I would like to welcome you to this introduction uh, webinar on behalf of uh, value trades and um, I really look forward to the next 40-45 minutes or so where I have a chance to present to you uh, what TradeWorks is and how it can benefit you in in uh, in your day-to-day -day trading activities. We uh, we have um, a, a good program ahead of us. I'll try to be as practical as possible. Uh, but before we jump into uh, to all the details, I um, I have to give you this disclaimer. As you you all know, that we are dealing with financial markets trading and. Um, Basically, we're talking about uh, you trading your money and not my money. So I know this disclaimer is really long. What it really says is, and I try to highlight that in just, just that one sentence, is that the material I'll be presenting to you and the, the statements I'll be making are for information purposes only. I think it's very important to understand that I have a, I have a lot of respect for for uh, for 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 your money so to speak and I wouldn't want to try to mislead you into doing something you wouldn't want to. I would I would actually argue the uh, the contrary and I, I hope that my presentation today will show you that 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 is actually a key to trade works that we are doing our best to actually take care of the traders uh, the traders trading uh, behavior uh, meaning that supporting them and avoiding big losses for instance. So Having said that, let's get into the uh, to the agenda, and um, and you can see for yourself what we'll be going through. So first of all, I'll do a quick introduction of TradeWorks. It's not going to be a long story about uh, the company and who we are and so forth. I just want to give you a high level idea of what it is uh, and who it is that that you're listening to, and. Um, your feel, your, by the way, just to mention in that as well, feel free to jump onto the chat if you have a question. If I'm going too fast, too slow. I'll uh, I'll be happy to 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 stop and, and answer a question you may have. We'll also have time at the end for some Q and A, so uh, don't don't worry. You'll have plenty of time to ask questions. Um, so after the introduction, I'll talk a little bit about risk management. And again, I'm I'm going to try to make it as short as possible because I'm not here to sit here and educate you about risk management. I'm here to tell you that it's important. And then I'm going to be very practical about it and say so. How can we translate? Uh, risk management into an automated trading strategy, into an algorithmic strategy, what is it that you want to be looking out for and so forth. Now to build a trading strategy, one of the, the my key arguments is that you're actually going to want to look at the market behavior first. You're going to want to look at the data, look at the market and say what type of market is this and what is it that you're really trying to trade in this market before you even, I would even argue before you open up TradeWorks. Now, once you've once you've decided what you're aiming for, then it makes a lot of sense to open up TradeWorks and begin to build your strategy to take advantage of those trade opportunities that come out of that. So I'll speak a bit about that as well. Finally, and that's that's the I guess the the main topic for this uh, for this evening is to give you guys a tour of TradeWorks, show you around, show you navigation, show you how to build a strategy. Uh, I'll show you some pre-built strategies as well. Um, I'll, I'll help you get connected to your MT4 account with value trades, um, show you some tips and tricks around the application, and uh, and make you really feel at home in um, in, in in very little time. Uh, at the end, I'm going to have some, some closing remarks about uh, what what comes after this introduction, what uh, what to do next, and some some resources where you can find more information. So this is the agenda, and again, I'll try to be quick about the theory in the beginning so we can get practical and get inside of TradeWorks so I can show you around there. Again, feel free, ask questions anytime. It's going to pop up on my screen on the chat, um, so feel free to interrupt me. So let's start out. Really, what, what the, the starting point of all of this is really the, the pain that traders are feeling. And I'm saying that because I'm a trader myself. I've been trading stocks since 1998. I've been trading CFDs and FX predominantly since 2012. And it, it's just, it's so striking, the massive amounts of information that, that's in the financial markets. And it, it almost feels like it's getting worse every day. 
um, it, if from the time that you actually make what you believe to be an educated decision about when you want to do a trade and to you actually get to, to, to move the mouse to the buy button, even in that time period, prices can, can change a lot. Um, and and um, second to that, um, I, I believe I'm actually the worst almost in regards to being emotional about my trading, uh, which, is, which is one of the reasons I'm, I'm trying to, as much as possible to automate my, my trading activities myself really. And, and that's because honestly the, the human beings, there are very, very few human beings that can really navigate the financial markets without becoming emotional, uh, holding on to losses too long. Uh, and, and just making irrational decisions at a time you think you're rational. Uh, what I'll be showing you with TradeWorks is that this is actually an opportunity to build your decisions when you're rational so that when the markets are moving and you would usually become emotional about your trading, then you're prepared and the computer will actually execute your strategy for you. It's a big key to, to TradeWorks. And finally, and this was a big one from moving from trading stocks to into the, to the FX CFD markets, uh, suddenly it's trading around the clock. And uh, and uh, who's to say that there's no good trading opportunities while you sleep, or if uh, you know you can't sit in front of your screen all day long? Again, put all this together, and you actually have a, a recipe for disaster. Uh, and this this is really the foundation, and uh, that that we built TradeWorks on, and uh, and and you'll see that that this is this is what it's all about. Now. TradeWorks is a financial technology company. We, we are four years old. We have offices in Copenhagen, Singapore, and in, uh, in Cyprus. We develop a cloud-based trade automation software, also called TradeWorks, and it's specifically targeting uh, individual traders of FX and CFDs. And when I say specifically for the, uh, for the individual traders, I'm also saying for traders that don't necessarily have a long-standing history of doing algorithmic trading. So it's really not about how much experience you have in the financial markets. This is really about how much experience you have with algorithmic trading. Uh, our, our primary goal really is to narrow the, uh, the technological gap between individual traders and global financial institutions. I mean, if you look at the amounts of trades, even in the FX markets that are, that are actually computer decision driven in the professional space and in institutional space, it's a very high number. So it's, it's approaching 80%. And in the, uh, in the private space, you're looking at 30 to 35%. So you could actually argue that the individual traders are at a disadvantage and really behind. So we wanted to really set out to provide a platform, a tool where you can design, test, trade and analyze your trading strategies and, and in, you could say in the key to that is to be able to, for individual traders to actually do it, we wanted to remove programming completely. Uh, this is also, uh, you could say, one of the big differentiators. You, you don't have to do any programming when you're doing algorithmic trading through TradeWorks. So that's really the company in a nutshell, trying to uh, not speak too long about that. So, so let's just briefly take a look at what is trading really. Well, it's a process where you define and follow a plan. You can call that plan a strategy, you can, you can even call it a, an algorithm once you've written it down. Um, but the, the purpose of the plan is to identify high probability trading opportunities. So, but, so trying to find those opportunities where this is, this is a good time to trade, either in or out of the market. And this could be while you're asleep at night. Um, finally, it's important to know that, that the, the, the good trading opportunities are where you find a good reward to risk profile, meaning that you actually have a, you could say, potentially a bigger upside when you win on a trade than you have when you lose on the trade, on the downside. So putting that together, you could say rule number one is have a plan and rule number two is follow the plan. So this is really the foundation to, to get started with, uh, with managing your risk, moving from manual trading into automated trading. Just recapping on, on a couple of the, uh, the common mistakes and myths, and this is something that we, we see over and over again, is that a lot of traders get into this without realistic expectations about what type of returns that they're going to see. I will, I will guarantee you that no robot will return 1,000% in a year, let alone 
even bigger numbers almost in the in a month that you see somewhere and and going out and buying black box strategies you're welcome to do so and a lot of you probably already tried it uh, it's it's very difficult and um, unfortunately that's um, it's not necessarily the best way to go about it first and foremost uh, there's no way you can adjust it unless you're the programmer and um, and also you really don't know what you're buying into uh, especially the uh, the more advanced algorithms lastly and this is something I'll get back to at the end of my presentation is is the, the problem with relying on one killer strategy it's very difficult to, to build and find that one killer strategy so one of the propositions we have is that you have the ability to run a portfolio of strategies instead and I'll be showing you what that looks like in, in the when, when you do when you do bundle up strategies uh, later in this presentation so let let me stop for a second here and um, speaking of risk management if, if I would I would just ask you to think of this you don't have to answer in the in the uh, in the system and the chat but if I asked or if I told you I have a trading strategy and it is profitable 80 percent of the times it's trading would you find that to be intriguing or interesting would you want to have a copy of that strategy would you perhaps even want to buy it from me and that that's this that's the starting point for a lot of people to get into algorithmic trading and unfortunately it's uh, not necessarily the best way to get into it let me just show you the difference between strike rate and risk reward this is the strategy I was talking about this strategy is profitable 8 out of 10 trades and uh, and unfortunately it's it's actually losing money but it's losing almost 50 percent of the uh, the simulated portfolio here when it's losing money so over time in 10 trades you've you've basically come uh, come down by 50 percent overall on your equity which is not good so just saying a strategy that's profitable 80 percent of the time is, is a great strategy is it just simply cannot stand alone you need to have the ratio between how much you win when you're winning and how much you're losing when you're losing and it has to be balanced so what I'll be suggesting to you in regards to risk management is and this is where I'm trying to get it as practical as possible to so say how do you evaluate a good automated trading strategy what to look for in the algorithm well strike rate obviously is important if all trades were losing trades of course it's not gonna work but it is not the, the most important the most important I would argue is actually the reward to risk ratio because when you combine that with strike rate then you have you could say you have a recipe for uh, quality performance on your algorithm the last one I put in there because it's it's a good you can have great risk reward ratio you can have a great strike rate but you if you have a massive loser just one of them in three months time it can completely uh, you say um, take your entire performance apart so what if, what if, what if you turned on the strategy the day before it made a massive loss then you would uh, feel really you would say uh, you you would really not like that strategy so looking at its biggest winner and its biggest loser gives you an idea of that you could say black swan black swan event that can actually happen and often actually will happen uh, with many trading strategies uh, personally I can say that there's a um, in in Denmark with the um, with the British pound flash crash a couple of months back in Denmark here there was a, a big following using uh, some black box trading strategies and um, unfortunately the the strategy wasn't really geared for that uh, one single big loss that happened with the with the with the sterling f flash crash so a lot of people lost as much as 50 to 60 percent of their entire equity in uh, in just a matter of an hour and so that that's why looking at these numbers are really important to, to to include with your risk reward and your strike rate that's all I'm going to say about risk management I promised I wouldn't go too deep into the technical stuff.